money the root of all evil? Let's have a look at exactly what God says. From the first book of Timothy, chapter 6, verses 9 and 10. For those who long to be rich, however, stumble into temptation and a trap, and many senseless and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is the root of all evils. Some people, in reaching for it, have strayed from the faith and stabbed themselves with many pains. So no, money is not the root of all evil. However, it is the love for money that is the source of all evils. We can love God without much money. Some others with lots of money may love God, and others may leave God out of their lives altogether in their loving pursuit of money. From the first book of Timothy, chapter 6, verses 6 to 8. Now godliness combined with contentment brings great profit, for we have brought nothing into this world, and so we cannot take a single thing out either. But if we have food and shelter, we will be satisfied with that. When a country has God-fearing leaders, that country is with the Almighty God, and He is with them. But when a country's leader quits revering the Lord and begins worshipping false gods and money, at some point the Lord will leave this leader and their people to their own sinful desires. From the first book of Timothy, chapter 6, verses 17 to 19, Command those who are rich in this world's goods not to be haughty or to set their hope on riches, which are uncertain, but on God who richly provides us with all things for our enjoyment. Tell them to do good, be rich in good deeds, to be generous givers, sharing with others. In this way, they will save up a treasure for themselves as a firm foundation for the future and so lay hold of what is truly life. This is it, after repenting of our sins and coming to trust and follow Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we can now begin producing good deeds in His Spirit. Thus, we put aside the love of money for the love for our God and our fellow neighbors. From the first book of Timothy, chapter 6, verses 11b and 12, Instead, pursue righteousness, godliness, faithfulness, love, endurance, and gentleness. Compete well for the faith and lay hold of that eternal life you were called for and made your good confession for in the presence of many witnesses. The love for money may be the root to all evils, but in contrast, Jesus Christ is the way to all that is good. Here is the solution to our life's meaning, where our morality comes from and where our future destiny lies. If our destination is a path led by God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, then we can finish this race with joy in our hearts, knowing that the prize has already been won. For the Father sent his Son to die, a substitutionary death for us, all who believe. Then Jesus, rising from the grave, brought us new life, and gave us the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Oh, dear Lord, thank you, Father, for sending your Son down from heaven to bless us, the chosen forgiven, with eternal life. Dear Jesus, thank you for your grace and mercy, setting me free from my sins, past, present, and future. Dear Holy Spirit, thank you for being inside me, strengthening, strengthening me from any and all attacks from the enemy. Through knowing and following you, God, I have been grafted into your eternal family, and now I have all the riches in this life that I need. Amen. Well, thank you for watching episode number 194 of the ABCs from God, sharing the truth about being Christian. Please help support this channel in reaching the lost, spreading the good news by commenting and sharing today's show. For those of you who are currently without a church group, go to my description to view a weekly sermon from the Richmond Alliance Church. And if you, a confessed sinner, have just come to Jesus Christ, begin your daily habits of private prayer and of reading the Holy Bible. Be part of a Bible-based church and join with my friends and I in sharing God's truths his ABCs about being Christian. God bless.